guys. So yesterday we revised our writing. That means that we added to it and we made our picture match our new writing. So we um, edited the picture to, to match what we wrote. Today, we are going to completely edit and look for things that we can fix in our writing. Now remember, when we're looking for things to fit our, fix our editing checklist, there's four big points. The first one is, do you have capital letters? Okay, so that's the first thing you do. You're gonna read one time looking for just capital letters at the beginning of sentences. So if there's a period, there needs to be a capital. If it's a name, it needs to be capitalized. So let's read through. Now, if you wrote in black like I did, I want you to find a red crayon or pen or something that is a different color so you can see it really fast. If you wrote in red, write with blue. If you wrote in green, write with yellow, okay? Something different so that your brain knows, oop, I need to fix that, okay? So let's go through and I'll show you how I would edit this writing. I looked out my window and saw a reindeer dancing. Now look. Did I capitalize that? Remember, I added to and I said he. So what I'm gonna do is underline that three times so that my brain sees, oh, I need to fix that, okay? He was jumping up and down. He heard amazing music coming. Oh, did you see an end mark? I did. Look at that other he. Is it capitalized? There's a period. See if I can find it with my finger. He. So I'm gonna underline that one too. So there was already two mistakes. He heard amazing music coming from my kitchen. My, uh-oh. Look, kitchen, period. Is the next letter capitalized? No, I gotta fix that one too. Okay. See, I've got it underlined so my brain sees it later. My mom was singing jingle bells now jingle bells is the name of a song right so what needs to happen to both letters jingle and bells they both need to be capitalized Woo! i did not do a good job writing this the reindeer loved my mom's song so much he came all the way from the north pole so now i've got all of the things that i need to fix underlined okay now, the next thing is finger spaces. Make sure that there is a finger space between all of my words. Now, there pretty much is except for the stuff that I added in with my little carrots. But here in a minute, when I rewrite this and fix all of my problems, then I can make sure I have a finger space between all of my words. And if I don't, I need to fix that. Okay? Third thing is we've got to make sure that we have in marks at the end of every single sentence. And I think I pretty much do, except for this one, the one that I added. I, I just don't know that I had enough room for it. So I added it. So when you make an in mark in a new spot, you make the in mark and then you make a big circle around it. Okay? And that tells my brain, oop, I need to make a period there. But the way you're gonna do it at home is read through. And anywhere that you take a breath, it might be a new sentence, okay? So if it doesn't make sense to stop there, then it's probably not. So if I said, I looked out my window, I mean, I guess I could stop there, but you're gonna say, okay, you looked out your window and what, Mrs. Ford? Oh, I need to finish up my sentence, right? Okay, so make sure they're all, they all make sense. And then that's our last thing. We've got to make sure that every single sentence makes sense with what we're writing. Now, if you are one that can only label a picture, you better make sure that everything is labeled with the right letter and that if you can figure out a word like mom, if you're labeling mom on your picture, you need to make sure you've sounded it out. Mm, uh, mm and label everything that you can with a real word because that's where you need to be at this point. If you were just labeling letters, like last month, this month we need to be pushing ourselves to be labeling full words and trying to sound those out, okay? All right, this is our goal, but you're gonna write the way that you can, all right? Okay guys, I'll see you later, bye.